One of the tools many people use to measure internal stress is called heart rate variability. And that's a lot different than the heart rate or the rhythm of the heart. But if you have looked at a chart or seen a printout from an ECG, it looks something like this. So this is the, the wave your heart goes through. There's a Q, R, S wave as the heart beats and pumps blood through your body, of course. Now the heart rate variability is interested in how much space is there between these waves. So these are just a couple examples of time uh, in milliseconds between each of these waves. And you can see, again, just for an example, there's some time difference between each of those heartbeats. They're not all exactly at the same distance apart. And so when someone's resting, what that does is actually allow us to measure the autonomic nerve system. And that's that difference between or the balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic activity. So you probably recall the sympathetic is the fight or flight. So when someone is under a lot of stress, mentally, emotionally, physical stress, chemical stress, not sleeping well, all those things, the body is in a much more flight, fight or flight response, which means it's ready to get away or to fight, obviously, when some kind of stress comes into our environment. Now, the other one's called parasympathetic, and that is the rest and heal and digest. So what we should see is a, a large amount of variation between those heartbeats. If they are locked on every single beat exactly the same distance apart, there's a low variability. They're all very similar distance apart, and that means your body's responding with more sympathetic nerve function. And so it's a really quick way for us to measure what changes are happening, how is your body responding to stress. And so it's not a, you know, here's a number, plug it into the chart, you have stress, you don't have stress. It's a relative comparison because there are many factors involved, but it's a relative comparison for yourself of here's what your life is like and here's what the heart rate variability is compared to here and to here and to here. And we know that when our nerve system is functioning well, we have a better ability to heal and respond to those lifestyle stresses that happen because stresses will always happen. How resilient are you? How well do you recover from that stress when it does happen? So that's actually a tool that we use in the office and that allows us to compare, uh, again, levels of stress from one point in time to another to another and see what lifestyle changes, including chiropractic adjustments, have on the body's response to the stress internally that is from our outside world. Hopefully that's useful for you and you can understand that a little bit better by that explanation. If you have questions, shoot me an email, ancasterfamilychiropractic at belnet.ca and I'll be happy to answer those for you.